uh, in this paper um, I discuss uh, dominant critical discourses of turbo folk music in Serbia and its usual connection with nationalist politics. Um, I suggest that we should um, treat every kind of music and music-related practices uh, as constitutive rather than reflective of identif identification. And that applies to turbo folk music and any other kind of music. And I believe that that approach uh, can open up a space for more um, sophisticated analysis of common um, discourses of, uh, in this case, uh, turbo folk critiques uh, and its roles. Um, and there are several lines of um, this critique that are more or less interrelated and which I try to explore uh, in, this space, in this paper. Uh, in that aim, I draw from my long-term fieldwork research um, in Serbia and I try to show how public discourses are played out in private spheres, but also how they are created in and through everyday life. Uh, I identify the so-called anti-folk scene, that's how I call it in this paper, based on a univocal aesthetic exclusion that encompasses people from various social backgrounds and different social strata. Uh, in conclusion, it could be said that despite its huge popularity and public visibility, uh, turbo folk uh, remains one of the most um, important aesthetics of others or other aesthetics in contemporary Serbia.